The brand new Sun Princess is now the largest cruise ship in the Princess Cruises fleet. With 21 decks, 2,157 staterooms, this Sphere class vessel isn't like anything else you've ever seen. We've just returned from one of the first cruises on this new ship and can't wait to share everything with you as we cover every square inch of Sun Princess in this exclusive ship tour and walkthrough. So let's dive in. Welcome aboard cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. And like we do for all our ship tours, we're gonna start at the very top of the ship and work our way down going deck by deck, showing you everything that Sun Princess has to offer. Of course, if you have any questions at all about the ship or Princess Cruises in general, please leave them in the comments section below and we answer every single comment. On the very top of the ship is the most active family space on any Princess Cruises ship, the Park 19. This deck incorporates several experiences designed to engage multi-generational families. There's the Sea Breeze Roll Glider. Inspired by the dream of hang gliding, but in a safe environment, the Sea Breeze Roll Glider is the first of its kind on any cruise ship and takes guests high above to enjoy panoramic views of the ocean and breathtaking ports of call. Right below is the net. Hundreds above Deck 19, guests are challenged to trek across unstable bridges, Z-shaped balance beams, and climb cargo nets on this two-story rope course. Just like the Sea Breeze Roll Glider, the net is complimentary. For little kids, there's the Coastal Climb. On this engaging climbing structure, guests ascend from decks 19 to 20 through a series of obstacles. Once at the top, guests can take in the gorgeous views before sliding back down to the bottom. For those who love heights, the Infinite Horizon is a leaning tilt wall that cantilevers over the side of the ship, allowing guests to peer down from deck 19 and look down to deck 9 and beyond. Another first for Princess Cruises, there's a hammock area on Park 19. These relaxing hammocks allow visitors to Park 19 to take a break from exploring to hang out with family and friends. If hammocks aren't your thing, there are several seats and loungers around Park 19 that allow you to hang out while your little ones are enjoying some of the activities. Park 19 is also home to a splash zone. This whimsical splash area with pop jets and beautiful water sculpture offer a refreshing and relaxing area to chill. Below the net, you'll find a recreational court. Now this court does not have basketball nets, but it does offer activities like ping pong, shuffleboard, fitness classes, and a rotation of sports and wellness offerings available to all cruisers. And these activities do change throughout the cruise as it's a multi-functional sports court. So make sure to come back to see what that day's activities are. Park 19 is also home to the jogging track on Sun Princess. This refreshing open air track allows guests to walk, jog, or run at their own pace with approximately 6.7 times around the track, equaling one mile. Deck 18 is the upper deck of the two-story main pool area. This sun deck encircles the main pool below and offers plenty of loungers immediately above the pool, as well as forward and aft, allowing you to get either sun or shade, depending where the sun is at that point in the day. There are also a few whirlpools on deck 18, and on the starboard side of this area is one of the outdoor smoking areas on the ship. Midship on deck 18 is the Sun Bar. Offering the ship's standard menu, this bar tended to be open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. on most days during our cruise. With some tables and chairs, cruisers can enjoy the views of the outdoor areas or take their drink back to their loungers. Heading aft on deck 18, you'll find the Fitness Center. The Fitness Center feels a tad small for a ship that can hold over 4,300 passengers. Open to all guests, and available 24 hours a day. The fitness center includes a small free weight section with kettlebells, plenty of cardio equipment such as treadmills, elliptical machines, and stationary bikes, as well as select weight machines on the port side of the ship. Heading aft from the fitness center is the fitness studio. This multi-purpose fitness studio is home to various fitness classes and other experiences. From yoga to pure bar, Pilates, spin 
and wellness seminars. The fitness studio is open throughout the day and offers an array of health and fitness focused programming. The group classes offered here are included in the Princess Plus and the Princess Premier packages, while most of the seminars are open to all guests and are complimentary. Separate from the spa, the Lotus Salon on Deck 18 starboard side offers many services for men and women in distinct rooms. There's a barber shop, which offers men's services like a shave, beer trim, and haircut. There's also a nail salon with a wide menu of manicures and pedicures. The ladies salon also offers services such as color and style, a blowout, highlights, and more. New to Sun Princess is the first IV treatment on a Princess Cruises ship. In consultation with one of the medical professionals on board, Cruises can opt for a 5, 15, or 60 minute IV session in the salon. Located all the way aft on deck 18 is an exclusive sun deck reserved for those 16 or older. With prices starting at $79, guests can enjoy a tranquil and private sun deck at the largest sanctuary in the Princess Cruises fleet. This is the first sanctuary to feature a pool along with several different seating options, loungers, and whirlpools. Guests of the sanctuary have their own private bar as well as an upgraded daytime menu of tapas and small bites. All the way aft is a reserved area for those in signature suites. With plush loungers and cushy chairs, it's the ideal place to enjoy the sea day views or grab photos of that day's port of call. The sanctuary also offers cabanas, which start at $499 a day and come with an elevated menu. Down on deck 17, all the way forward, is the Sea View Terrace. This two-story forward sun deck is past the dome and can be accessed via the starboard or port side. This outdoor deck is partially covered, protecting cruisers from the elements. It's home to two stories of loungers, offering some fantastic views of the bow of the ship. This area is available to all cruisers who can enjoy this tranquil space with sun loungers, day beds, and some tables and chairs. The Sea View Terrace includes the line's first indoor-outdoor pool, which enters and exits the dome along with two whirlpools. The Sea View Terrace is also home to the Sea View Bar, which has a signature menu of maritime inspired cocktails like the Under the Sea. During our cruise, the Sea View Bar tended to be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. depending on the weather. Overall, the Seaview Terrace outdoor space is secluded and a quiet space, offering a nice departure from the main pool deck. Along with the spheres on the side of the ship, the other standout structure on board Sun Princess is the dome. Inspired by the terraces of Santorini, the dome is a multi-level covered deck and the first of its kind true glass enclosed dome ever constructed on a cruise ship. During the day, the dome features that indoor-outdoor pool and a unique water feature in a comfortable and relaxed space. The dome might have the most comfortable outdoor seating of any of the spaces on Sun Princess. It includes oversized padded chairs and loungers that basically can go from flat to all the way up. And while we really like the dome and think the space is beautiful, one issue we found is that the dome can get hot, especially with the sun beating down on it so it will be interesting to see how this space functions in a warmer climate like the Caribbean. Now, the dome isn't only a useful space during the day. At night, the pool becomes a stage and the dome completely transforms into an entertainment venue that has a South Beach vibe using state-of-the-art lighting effects and the ability to deliver stunning aerial performances. Unfortunately, during our cruise, the aerial performances, which are in partnership with Cirque Eloise, were not running. While at the dome, you don't want to overlook that cascading waterfall water feature and the nearby Cascade Bar. Serving the dome, the Cascade Bar is just as unique as this space, offering drinks that have a distinct flair and flavor. With limited seating at the bar, the drinks here are best enjoyed in the dome. Heading midship on deck 17 is the main pool deck area. 
The pool deck consists of two pools, two whirlpools, and plenty of loungers both in the sun as well as covered, offering cruisers some shade. To us, the pool deck didn't feel any larger than the similar Lido on Discovery Princess or the Royal class of ships. Given there are additional pool areas on the front of the ship and aft on deck eight, these pools were never busy during our Mediterranean cruise. Hanging above the pool deck is Princess Cruise's signature Movies Under the Stars. This large screen showcases concerts and different events during the day, as well as the signature Movies Under the Stars at night. New to Sun Princess next to the main pool area are the Lido Eats. With a laid back resort vibe and a variety of selections, this reimagined dining venue on the Lido deck quite literally has something for everyone. There are five unique stations and they're open most of the day from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. There are covered tables and chairs available on both the port side and the starboard side of the Lido stands. There is limited sofas and coffee tables closer to the pools if you want to dine in the sun. Lido Greens is your salad bar at sea with chef selections like the signature princess salad or cruisers can customize their selections from a wide array of fresh ingredients. Then there's the Lido Grill. Burgers, hot dogs, and freshly seasoned french fries are on the menu at this grill right next door to the pool deck. Make sure to order early as waits here can get long, especially on a sea day. On the port side, you'll find Lido Tacos. You can spice up your casual dining with chicken tacos, burritos, and even shawarma. You don't want to pass up the nachos here either. With a variety of toppings and even guacamole, it's an ideal daytime snack to munch on while relaxing poolside. It wouldn't be a poolside dining experience on Princess Cruz's ship without a slice of pizza. Choose from four different options at the Lido Slice, including a special each day. It's a quick, easy, and delicious option as you stroll the outdoor decks. And what better way to wash down all this food than the Lido bar? Serving the standard menu, cruisers can get a drink with their meal at this walk-up bar, which tended to be open from 11 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. during our cruise. After grabbing something to eat at the Lido, cruisers can head to the aft of Deck 17 port side for a sweet treat at Coffee and Cones. At Coffee and Cones, cruisers can get espresso-based drinks and soft serve or indulge in one of the premium ice creams that are part of the Princess Plus and Princess Premier plans. Coffee and cones tended to be open from around 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on most days of our cruise. At the end of the main pool deck, on the starboard side, cruisers can find the Mix Cocktail Bar. At the Mix Cocktail Bar, cruisers can get classic cocktails, beers, and wines by the glass. Open most days from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., the poolside bar offers limited bar top seating. However, feel free to bring your drink back to your seat with you. While it wasn't quite finished during our cruise, aft on deck 17, Love by Brito is an artistic inspired dining experience. The new dining experience serves as an exquisite showcase of the iconic and joyful designs of this famous artist in a boutique restaurant venue designed to immerse guests in a world of vivid color with a meticulously curated menu by the cruise line's chief culinary officer, Rudy Sodemon. Most of the staterooms are located on decks nine to 16. Those staying in signature suites have access to the signature lounge, which is located on decks 16 and 17. This aft located two-story lounge includes a private bar and some cozy seating for those staying in signature suites that want to escape the crowds. Unfortunately, we weren't staying in a suite. We stayed on deck 14 forward in stateroom 14 220. This deluxe balcony cabin was on the port side of the ship. New on Sun Princess, the entry level balcony cabins on this ship are all deluxe balcony cabins, which means more room, storage, and a sofa. We appreciated the new layout and decor, which puts this cabin on par with similar staterooms on other new mega ships like Celebrity Ascent or Norwegian Prima. This reconfiguration does mean that there is no longer a walk-in closet, which we did benefit from as overpackers. 
Still, the new closet design provided more than enough storage with a combination of shelves, drawers, and clothes bars. These cabinets also have a new and improved bathroom with modern finishes and a brand new shower design. These new bathrooms also feature marble finishes and premium bath products, including hand soap. With plenty of power outlets, including USB-A and USB-Cs near the bed, the brand new deluxe balcony cabins on Sun Princess were a major upgrade when compared to other cruise ships in the Princess Cruises fleet. Now, speaking of brand new cabins, there's a new type of cabin on Sun Princess, the Cabana Mini Suites. These exclusive mini suites feature a balcony along with a private cabana. This extra large outdoor space features unique outdoor furniture and is in addition to the indoor seating in these staterooms. Another benefit of booking this new stateroom category is access to an exclusive sun deck. Located on deck nine, situated both on the starboard and port side, guests in these staterooms have access to an exclusive cabana sun deck with hot tubs, loungers, and ideal ocean views. This sun deck offers privacy for those in this class of cabins and is a nice benefit of booking these staterooms. While the Cabana sun deck is forward on the ship, the rest of deck nine are public spaces. And if you head midship on deck nine is when you first encountered perhaps one of the most impressive spaces on the entire ship, the Piazza. Now found on deck seven through nine, this open and inviting space is infused with light. And the ship connects guests with dynamic views of the world and innovative experiences from service to food to entertainment. The Lions Piazza spans three stories, forming an iconic architectural feature, offering guests an outward looking suspended space with comfortable seating and areas to enjoy the ocean views in every direction. The nine story sphere in the ship's center allows for this natural light and more inviting piazza. The floor to ceiling glass offers amazing ocean views on all three decks and even includes the seawalk on deck nine on the starboard side. An impressive LED screen is also showcased in the center of the piazza that can be moved and configured to deliver live entertainment programming. So on Sun Princess, this new piazza still features several events, parties, and live music throughout the cruise. With terrace seats, there are decent sight lines on all three decks. So cruisers can now enjoy activities like 80s line dancing, the marriage match game show, live music concerts, or other piazza entertainment from all angles. Yet those just walking through from one end of the ship to the other can still bypass the crowds. That is, if they're not sucked into the fun happening down on deck seven. On the forward section of deck nine, blending right into the comfy seating and casual feel of the piazza is a combined shore excursions desk and photo gallery. Cruisers can review photos on touchscreen tablets. Photographers and photo gallery teammates are there select hours to help individuals with purchases or to answer any questions they have about their photos. Likewise, there's also a shore excursions desk where cruisers can speak to a representative about upcoming tours or to get help with a current reserved shore excursion. On the other side of deck nine, you'll find the Go Princess Next Cruises and Loyalty Desk. Take advantage of onboard promotions or get answers to questions about Princess Cruises Captain Circle Club at select hours at this Go Princess station. Check the Princess Patter for hours of operation. And while here, don't miss that seawalk, a staple on any Princess Cruises ship. The charming favorite that has been named the best pizza at sea is once again on Sun Princess on deck nine. Alfredo's Pizzeria has an open kitchen design, allowing guests to watch as the chefs create pizza by hand and serve them straight out of the oven. New to the kitchen is a professional open mouth oven that can reach 968 degrees, allowing chefs to create truly authentic contemporary Neapolitan pizza in 90 seconds. Guests will enjoy an authentic experience comparable to one they would receive when traveling to Italy. And given the changes to Princess Cruises last year, Alfredo's Pizzeria is now an upcharge venue unless cruisers have the Princess Plus or Princess Premier packages. On the starboard side of Deck 9, 
right off the piazza, you'll find the International Cafe. This princess favorite serves up convenient eats around the clock, from savory breakfast sandwiches to focaccia and flatbreads, along with delightful desserts. Of course, this is the resident coffee shop, which is open 24 hours a day for your caffeine fix. All of the food at the cafe is included in the cruise fare, and espresso-based drinks are covered in the Princess Cruises drink packages. The menu for breakfast stayed the same all cruise and featured the line signature breakfast sandwich. The all-day dining options also remain the same, with some sandwiches and quiches, which were much different than our previous experiences on other Princess Cruises ships. The Cruise Line's buffet has undergone a remarkable transformation, inviting guests on a journey of flavors and experiences from around the world in the new eatery, which comprises aft of Deck 9. This all-day restaurant is conveniently located adjacent to the piazza, with expansive windows overlooking the promenade and is designed to enhance traffic flow. At the eatery, chefs serve guests breakfast, lunch, and dinner at nine food stations, ranging from barbecue to tapas station to an Asian stir fry and panini stations. There's something for every guest at stops that feature carving boards of roasted meats, bread and salad selections, fruits, hot dishes, and desserts for every sweet tooth. On most days, the eatery was open for continental breakfast from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m., with breakfast served from 6.30 a.m. to about 10 a.m. Lunch tended to be served around 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., with dinner from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., with late-night snacks from 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. In our experience, the eatery was quite busy. The design felt similar to the royal class of ships, with all of the food stations in the center with all the seating on the exterior side of both the port and starboard sides of the eatery. What we did like in the eatery compared to other ships is that all the food is served to you, which is similar to Holland America Line's buffet. So we did feel it was a little bit more upscale and the food offerings did look better than we remembered. Although honestly, with only five days on board, we only ate at the eatery once for breakfast and breakfast was pretty hard to mess up but didn't get to sample anything for lunch or dinner. While the eatery does take up the back end of the ship, there are actually two pop-up restaurants in the eatery. The Butcher's Block by Dario is a new specialty impromptu bistro aft on deck nine, portside. In partnership with the world's most famous butcher, this new dining concept is open for dinner every night of the cruise with two seatings, with the first seating at 5.15 p.m. and the second seating at 7.45 p.m. and reservations are highly suggested. Serving an eight course carnivorous delight in a family style setting, this restaurant is all about enjoying a communal dining experience with family and friends. The evening begins with a glass of red wine and an introduction from the onboard chef showcasing that night's signature cuts before they're perfectly prepared to a medium temperature and then carved for everyone in the dining room. Along with some sides, cruisers can indulge in the on-table crusty bread and shared bottle of Chianti. Just make sure to save room for the olive oil cake for dessert. On the starboard side, adjacent to the eatery, is a catch by Rudy, a pop-up dinner concept from renowned chef Rudy Sodoban, showcasing treasures from the sea, like shrimp cocktail, seafaring stew, calamari with seasoned panko coating, Mussels with crusty bread for dipping and a catch of the day lineup sure to make any seafood lover smile. The catch is open for dinner from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. daily. Again, as we mentioned, similar to the butcher's block by Dario is actually in the eatery. And during the day, both the catch and the butcher's block serve as overflow seating for the eatery. Outside encircling the back half of deck nine is the promenade a chill place to relax on a sea day and enjoy the views. Boasting a fresh, beachy California vibe, the promenade offers a variety of seating options and is a nice escape from the pool deck. Choose from covered tables to lounge seats to deck chairs and even a covered area after the ship. While lounging with a good book or your smartphone, you won't have to go far to grab something to eat or drink either. 
As an extension of the eatery, there are several dining venues and bars on each side, offering counter service quick bites like burgers, pizza, soft serve ice cream, tacos, and more. So you don't even need to go inside to get something to eat or drink. With entrances on both deck seven and eight, the Princess Arena is a contemporary and versatile performance space forward of the ship. It is the most technologically advanced princess theater. A radical ceiling accentuates the arena's in the round configuration with soft curved walls that allude to the movement of the tides. With movable seats and a capacity of a little more than a thousand people, there are three configurations that maximize sight lines as this technologically enhanced theater delivers a truly captivating experience. Along with four signature shows, the arena also showcases headliner acts and hosts other events throughout the cruise. Unfortunately, none of the shows were ready during our cruise, but we did get a sneak peek of a tech rehearsal for Valora, a Pirate's Quest, and that show looks amazing. That show will be launching soon on Sun Princess, with the remaining shows rolling out over the next several months. Heading midship from the Princess Arena, you will find the Princess Casino on Deck 8. This is the largest casino in both size and number of gaming positions in the entire fleet. Located in between the Piazza and the Arena, the Princess Casino gives guests easy access to their favorite betting games with an astounding 50% more space and 30% more machines than the line's royal class of ships, this casino is reminiscent of a Vegas-style casino. It's over 9,000 square feet and features 10-foot ceilings. The casino offers a spacious floor plan for world-class gaming, comfort, and entertainment. With over 200 of the newest and most popular slots, video poker games, and 13 gaming tables, there's something for everyone. Now, even though this is a new ship, one thing that really did surprise us is that the casino on Sun Princess is smoking. In fact, it's the only indoor smoking space on the entire ship. And even though the ship's new, you can already smell the smoke making its way towards the forward bank of elevators and creeping towards the piazza, which is midship. On the port side of the piazza on deck eight, there's this ominous black door which is the entrance to Spellbound by Magic Castle. By far, Spellbound was our favorite experience on Sun Princess. This experience blends the captivating world of magic with the art of culinary and mixology to create an extraordinary, innovative, and immersive dining experience steeped in magic and adventure. The evening begins in an exclusive area of the Horizons dining room for a shared dinner before being escorted to that secluded Spellbound bar nestled behind that nondescript door where a magic and mixology wait. With its ornate decor that includes magical artifacts, vintage curiosities, and interactive special effects, it might actually be the most immersive and well-themed experience on any cruise ship and rivals anything you might find in a Disney theme park. After witnessing the spirit of Isabella take requests on the piano, guests nestle into the parlor bar for exclusive signature cocktails that are among the best on the ship. While here, magicians at the bar dazzle everyone with close-up magic with mystical cocktails that are equally as impressive. The experience includes an exclusive cocktail menu of drinks with an open bar while waiting for a more formal 30-minute intimate magic show. Not to mention guests can come and go from the venue as they please to enjoy more than one round of drinks and illusions at the bar. With three different nightly offerings at 5 p.m., 7 p.m., and 9 p.m., each session is limited to 30 cruisers. Spellbound by Magic Castle does have a hefty price tag of $149 per cruiser, but we think it's well worth the money. Princess Cruisers signature bar Crooners received a major update on Sun Princess. Located off the Piazza portside midship, this mid 20th century bar gives nods to 1950s and 60s style of music. From the musically themed decor to the large wooden bar and oversized chairs, this bar exudes swanky style and sophistication of a private lounge. With signature martinis and old school mixed cocktails, it is certainly the most refined lounge on the ship. Featuring live music at the entrance, this design offers both bar seating as well as adjacent seating right on the piazza, giving cruisers the ability to admire the views from the sphere on the port side. 
which gives this interior space almost an alfresco seating setup. Being open to the piazza also means that passerbyers can stop and listen to a song or two without having to take a seat. Crooners tend to be open from 11 a.m. to late every day of our cruise. And most signature drinks are covered in the cruise line's drink packages. Entertainment here range from piano players to acoustic guitar players and more. Across from Crooners Bar, on the starboard side, you will find Makoto Ocean. This modern sushi bar, adjacent to the heart of the piazza, offers spectacular views from the sphere window with a vast array of sushi and sashimi specialties, reshaping traditional sushi with a creative approach. Chef Makoto brings his 25 years experience to Sun Princess with a new concept, crafting playful, exquisitely presented dishes, paying tribute to Japanese traditions. Guests can enjoy mouthwatering bites from the intimate tables or watch sushi crafting at its best from expert chefs at the traditional sushi bar. Off the piazza is the oceanfront. You can upgrade your princess medallion style at the oceanfront store. Here cruisers can select from a number of accessories from rubber wristbands to silver plated jewelry accessories. Belt and label clips as well as other wearable options can be purchased select hours of your cruise. Heidi and I are big fans of the wrist accessories. Tucked behind the midship elevators, Deckgate Portside is a brand new specialty restaurant on Sun Princess, Umai Teppanyaki. This teppanyaki restaurant is the first in the fleet and exclusive to Sun Princess, and it's a feast for the senses, offering a fusion of top cuisine and showmanship. Here, highly skilled teppanyaki masters take center stage, using their fiery skills and flair to create a dazzling display on a sizzling hot grill. Guests have front row seats at the table to witness the fun while sipping signature drinks like the wasabi cocktails. This multi-course meal begins with a selection of starters like the pork belly yakitori and progresses to entrees, which include filet mignon, shrimp or chicken, of course, along with some vegetables and a side of fried rice. But guests need to leave room for dessert with a charming bento box dessert with green tea ice cream. During our cruise, Teppanyaki was open for lunch on sea days and offered two seatings every night, an early seating at five o'clock and a second seating at 7 p.m. What is also unique about Yumai is that it features a hot, hot experience. With six tables lining the venue, this cooking approach allows guests to prepare their own Asian-inspired delicacies. With boiling broth, cruisers combine veggies, meat, and noodles for a filling and fun communal meal. Our friends on the cruise vouched that it was a top notch as well. Like any of the specialty restaurants on Sun Princess, we highly recommend you make reservations for either teppanyaki or the hot pot pre-cruise. And like the other specialty restaurants on the ship, both teppanyaki and the hot pot had a price of $45 per person. Heading aft on deck seven and eight, on the starboard side, you will find the shops. With five retail locations plus an art gallery, the shops located on deck seven and eight have been upgraded on Sun Princess when compared to the Royal class and offer a Galleria feel without taking up much real estate on the ship. Modern elegant boutiques connect fluidly as guests stroll from the piazza to the aft of the ship. Some of the shops include the Princess Logo Shop, a lifestyle boutique, and a new bazaar area featuring destination specific selections, plus jewelry, watches, cosmetics, and other duty free shopping. Aft on deck eight, you will find another specialty restaurant, which is pretty familiar to Princess Cruisers, Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. Serving a modern, casual, but yet elegant Italian dining experience, the newly reimagined Sabatini's will pill the families with unique handmade pasta courses prepared fresh daily. A crisp, tailored geometric design features a pasta room right at the front of the restaurant for guests to marvel at the pasta making process. The restaurant is designed with an intimate bistro style with nooks and a dramatic circular main dining room. Irresistible Sicilian fried mozzarella rice balls and creamy burrata caprese are just the start. Seafood dishes and primavera pastas round out a menu prepared with savory meat dishes featuring lamb chops as well as classics like chicken parmesan. And no Italian meal would be complete without classics like tiramisu as well as a selection of pastries, torts, 
and the ricotta cheesecake. Sabatini's is open from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. every night for dinner. Again, it's $45 per cruiser and reservations are required. Sun Princess is the first ship in the fleet to boast a three-story main dining room. Each dining room offers a unique experience. While the decor of Deck 8 dining room looks similar to the other decks with warm woods and metallic accents, this restaurant is home to the Americana Diner. This is a completely new concept for Princess Cruises. This venue serves an all-day menu of classic American comfort foods with items like a shrimp po' boy, chicken wings, and pork ribs. Open most days for brunch from around 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. and dinner from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's the least formal of the dining rooms. Reservations are not accepted, so it's first come, first serve. We actually really enjoyed this concept. And during our visit, the service was great and the food well prepared. The American Diner has a signature cocktail menu as well, and you won't want to miss the chicken and waffle cocktail. While we only dine once in the Americana Diner, we can see how the variety of dining options appeal to all types of cruisers. And Heidi is definitely a fan of the all day breakfast here. At the very back of Deck 8 is yet another family friendly outdoor space, the Wakeview Terrace. This outdoor deck space offers some of the best views from any area of the ship. Here cruisers can get an up close look as the ship sails to its next port of call in the Wakeview Infinity Pool. There are also two whirlpools and various loungers and seating to soak up the sun with a drink in hand. The Wakeview Bar serves up light and refreshing drinks with a twist, like the Aperol Frosé or the Sand Meets the Sun. The best way to access this outdoor lounge space is to use the Deck 9 Promenade and walk down to Deck 8 all the way aft. Depending on the region, this area can provide uninhibited sun or complete shade. But either way, this additional sun deck has a more casual yacht club feel, offering a nice alternative to the main sun deck up on deck 17. As we mentioned, this is open to all cruisers. And just be advised that the smoking section is on the starboard side. On deck seven, tucked under the arena are two youth activity areas, Neon Groove for tweens and the Underground for teens. These two separate areas offer an inviting space for both tweens and teens to hang out, socialize, and have fun. Unlike other ships, these areas for older kids are separate from the activity centers for younger kids, with both Neon Groove and the Underground having their own entrance and dedicated activity staff managers. Both spaces feature colorful, comfy sofas and chairs for lounging, PlayStation 5s, and Nintendo Switch gaming consoles plus air hockey, foosball, and skee-ball. Program activities for these age groups include ship scavenger hunts, movie nights, friendly competitions, and dance parties. Tucked behind the forward elevators on the starboard side, you might almost miss one of our favorite bars on the ship, Good Spirits. Good Spirits takes guests around the globe in search of extraordinary everyday people sharing stories of spirits and collecting farm fresh local ingredients to inspire one of a kind cocktail creations. On Sun Princess, this princess favorite is a distinct venue and also offers an immersive martini experience. There's a separate show bar at the center of the lounge, which showcases daily evening shows with skilled bartenders whipping up signature concoctions with some guests help. Good Spirits is also home to an immersive royal tea experience, select days of your cruise. The bar tended to be open from 4 p.m. to late, the last show usually around 11 p.m. Past the forward elevators, on the port side is another fan favorite, the Crown Grill. Here, guests can enjoy a perfectly grilled steak on Sun Princess, which takes this iconic space and modernizes it with a classic steakhouse feel, weaved with modern touches, inviting leather booths, circular seating, and modern artwork custom design for this restaurant. All these elements come together to welcome guests for an unforgettable dinner experience. Featuring premium aged beef and fresh seafood items, this specialty restaurant offers an intimate dining experience in a classically elegant setting. Plus, guests can enjoy views of their food being prepared 
in the largest show galley on a Princess Cruises ship. You know the drill by now, like all specialty restaurants, Crown Grill was open from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. with reservations required. During our cruise, I was a big fan of the filet mignon here, as well as the creme brulee cheesecake. Making sure to utilize every inch of the Deck 7 space, cruisers can indulge in freshly made gelato at the Gelateria. Cruisers can also indulge in several types of affogato. However, the food items here are not included in the Princess Plus or the Princess Premier packages. The Gelateria is a small stand and there's select seating nearby, but odds are you might just take your sweet treat and head to another area of the ship. Across the way is another popular venue found on many ships in the Princess Cruises fleet, Princess Live. However, this Princess Live is distinct. It combines the design elements of Princess Live and the guest favorite Explorer's Lounge. So on Sun Princess, guests can enjoy participatory signature cruise activities like game shows, trivia, and the daily wig show in comfort. At night, there's also live music, comedy shows, and other activities. Princess Live looks much different than the Royal class, and we're a big fan of this change. With luxurious textures and materials, with a mixture of comfortable, loose, and fixed lounge seating, with full beverage service, this inviting semi-open facade includes a large LED screen on the stage. The natural light gave this venue a warm and welcoming feel, reminiscent of a lounge you might find in a metropolitan hotel or a lounge you might find in Vegas. Make sure to check the Princess Patter for days and times of the different events, or just walk by and take a peek in to see if there's something that might pique your interest. Perhaps our favorite bar on the entire ship is located on Deck 7, and it's the new O'Malley's Irish Pub. It's true, many cruise ships offer pubs, but this pub did the best of capturing the energy and ambiance of an Irish pub you might expect to walk into if you were in Dublin. This traditional Irish pub boasts live music, interactive entertainment, and a mouth-watering menu, serving up comfort food at its best. Things like pub-style fish and chips, or our traditional bangers and mash. Food was typically served here from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., and is included as casual dining in the Princess Plus and Princess Premier packages. During our cruise, the Rambling Rovers played select sets each night. This violin and acoustic guitar duo had everyone in the pub singing and dancing along. They are not to be missed. At the center of the piazza is the Bellini's Cocktail Bar. This is the main bar serving the piazza on Deck 7, and it's located on the port side of the ship. Inspired by shimmering beauty of the finest gems, this bar features a signature cocktail menu inspired by the finest spirits in Italy. Signature drinks feature staples like Prosecco, Lemoncello, and other fresh ingredients. So cruisers can sip and savor the finest bubbles while enjoying the Piazza entertainment and dazzling panoramic views from the massive sphere window with the bar usually open from 7 a.m. to late every day of the cruise. Here is a pro tip. If you're looking to get an iconic shot of the sphere, there is a little outdoor promenade midship on deck seven on the exterior wall of Bellini's. Depending on the direction the ship is sailing and the time of day, you might be able to capture some sunset or sunrise shots with light reflecting off the sphere. If cocktails aren't your thing in the morning, maybe you enjoy some coffee. On the other side of the ship, on the starboard side, across from Bellini's, is the second indoor coffee shop, Coffee Currents. Open from 6 a.m. to late, Coffee Currents serves the same menu of espresso-based drinks found at the International Cafe. However, it boasts more seating and a lounge that offers magical ocean views from the sphere windows on the starboard side of the ship. Throughout the day, Coffee Currents has a more limited menu with a small selection of bakery items like muffins and danishes. In our experience, Coffee Currents was significantly less busy in the mornings than the International Cafe. Also tended to be less busy in the afternoons when everyone came back ashore. It's almost like individuals forget about this coffee shop. If you do stop in for a caffeine fix, make sure to say hello to Anthony. Similar to Bellini's, there's also that outdoor promenade 
on the exterior wall of coffee currents that enables you to get a video and photo of the sphere. On Sun Princess, Princess Cruises rolled out a brand new category of staterooms, the Signature Collection. Along with having their own lounge on deck 16 and 17, those same in Signature Suites also have access to the Signature Restaurant. This private and exquisite restaurant boasts plenty of natural light and has an ornate glass centerpiece, giving this small, intimate restaurant some character. Guests staying in Signature Suites do not need to make reservations for this restaurant. They can just show up whenever they want, and they have an elevated version of the main dining room restaurant menus here. The Signature Restaurant is open for breakfast and dinner every day and offers lunch on sea days. Like other main dining rooms on Sun Princess, the Signature Restaurant was open from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. nightly. Heading aft beyond the shops on Deck 7, you will find another exclusive restaurant, the Reserve Restaurant. Previously known as the Club Class, guests booked in the most ideally located mini suites and cabana suites have access to this exclusive restaurant. The Reserve Restaurant is open for breakfast and dinner, and this elegant private restaurant serves an elevated version of the main dining room, similar to the Signature Restaurant. Across from the Reserve Restaurant, on the starboard side is the nautically themed bar that's a staple on many Princess Cruises ships, the Wheelhouse Bar. It's actually not found on the Royal Class ships, so the Wheelhouse Bar has made a return to the Sphere Class on Sun Princess. Open from 4 p.m. to late each night, this venue is the perfect pre-dinner or post-dinner spot for recounting the day's events with friends and family. Serving a nautically inspired menu with cocktails like the Anchors Away it fits right into the quaint and cozy space on Deck 7. Throughout the day, cruisers can challenge one another at the Wheelhouse Bar with a selection of popular board games that are made available by the cruise line for free. As we mentioned earlier in this video, a first for Princess, the Horizons Dining Room is a stunning three-story dining venue. This newly envisioned space is open and flexible, featuring dining options to suit every mood. Stunning wake views and natural light highlight a decorative sculpture that stretches from deck six to deck eight. Now we already mentioned the Americana Diner is the unique dining experience on deck eight. Decks seven and six of the Horizons Dining Room serve the cruise line's signature menu. The after these two decks is terraced, opening up the main dining room and making it the most grand and elegant dining experience on any Princess Cruises ship. The menu served on deck six and seven is the line's rotational menu which offers various selections of starters, entrees, and desserts each night, along with the princess favorites that stay the same the entire cruise, like shrimp cocktail or grilled chicken breast. Deck 7 of the Horizons Dining Room is reserved for guests who have flexible dining and make reservations throughout the cruise, either in the app or have made reservations pre-cruise. Deck 6 is the largest of the three main dining rooms, and it's open to those who opt for traditional dining. On our cruise, traditional dining had a first seating at 5 p.m. and a second seating at 7.30 p.m. The Deck 6 dining room was also open for breakfast every morning and served lunch on sea days. Heading down to Deck 6, you will find guest services. A first for Princess Cruises, guest services is not off the piazza. Instead, it has its own dedicated space now on Deck 6. However, the only way to access this guest service section is via the forward elevators and forward stairwell. Guest services is open 24 hours a day with the helpful teammates here available to answer any of your questions. Those staying in suites have a dedicated guest service desk for the youngest princess cruisers on the starboard side of deck six, you will find Firefly Park. This imaginative space invites youngsters ages six months to seven years old and their families to explore, play, and socialize. The Family Center is a place to play together or drop kids off for programming, including art projects, theme parties, and group games. Firefly Park also invites families with babies and toddlers ages six months to three years old to crawl and engage their senses with a dedicated play area. After hours, group babysitting is available from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. for an additional charge. Located in the middle of the ship, on deck 6 and 5, is the Lotus Spa. This is the first two-story Lotus Spa in the Princess Cruises fleet. 
The Cruise Line Signature Enclave is a thermal suite offering guests a soothing retreat from the rest of the ship. The Enclave is on Deck 6 and includes rejuvenating experiences like a hydrotherapy pool, heated stone loungers, the first sea salt room in the Princess Cruises fleet, a sauna, steam room, and experiential showers. Capacity is limited to 70 individuals, and cruisers can get cruise long and day passes. We suggest seeing if you can get a day pass on a port day to avoid the crowds. On decks 5 and 6 are the remaining 19 treatment rooms in the spa, offering a typical lineup of experiences such as massages, salt scrubs, and facials. We suggest you take a spa tour on the first day of your cruise to learn about all the experiences. You might even save some money with embarkation day deals. Finally, on deck four, you will find the landing. When heading ashore, the landing serves as an embarkation and disembarkation lounge. So exiting and returning to the ship at each port of call is seamless, efficient, and comfortable. The space also doubles as a meeting area when the ship is at sea for groups and other activities. After experiencing this complete Sun Princess ship tour and walkthrough, we're sure you're ready to book your next cruise on this innovative new ship. But before you do, you should check out our 25 expert Princess Cruises tips and tricks video right here on YouTube. In that video, we give you insider tips on how to make the most of your Princess Cruises trip, from pre-cruise tips to onboard activities, money-saving tips, and more. That video will ensure you're one step ahead of everyone else on board so Yard Sun Princess Cruise is smooth sailing.